Welcome to Onboardable. So in this quick training video, I'm going to show you how to set up your automations. So what you want to do as a professional, you're going to toggle to your service management. You're going to go to automations. Now what Onboardable has for you are pre-built automations based upon how most professionals conduct their workflow. We're going to have these automations pre-built for you. All you need to do is review it and optimize it. So you're going to notice the first thing is the title it says manage steps for individual tax return. So this is going to be the automation steps that your clients are going to take to be successfully onboarded for individual tax return. You will see this alert when the automation is not completed. So unless this alert is removed this automation won't be active for your clients to use so let's go ahead and make it active so on this automation we see that the first step is to sign proposal so what you want to do is go here sign proposal is already named but you can change the wording if you like you want to map it to a tag right so your tags are going to control your automation sequences and it's also going to help filter your jobs pipeline and I'll show you that in the next video. You're going to select what type this is. So for your automations, you can select for them to be automatically sent the invoice. So maybe you charge, you know, a $100 deposit, a document, a questionnaire, or a URL link. This is in a case where you need your clients to book a call with you as a part of your onboarding process. So for this tutorial, we're going to select document. Now we're going to either use a template or upload a new document. Now, if you use your doc editor, you can just edit out a template here. So let's say we want to add our proposal for individual tax prep in the document editor. So what we'll do, we'll come here, we'll add the document here by browsing or pulling in our proposal. And then I can call this individual and then save. Now what that is going to do is going to add it right here proposal for individual tax prep and now what i can do is edit out this proposal so i simply just downloaded this proposal from canva and what i'm going to do is go to the last page where the client is going to sign to agree to the term so what you're going to do is take over your signature and then this asks for the client name so we're going to put the first name last name on here so we're just going to drag these down like this. So this document, when it gets over to the client, is going to be dynamically filled like this. And now what you're going to do, make sure you click on this little box to make it your default. So now let's go back to our automations for individual tax prep. So it says sign proposal. So what we're going to do is we're going to use template and we're going to find our new proposal. So proposal for individual tax prep here. We're going to save that. All right, so now that step is complete. Now the next step is for deposits. So we're going to come here. Deposit is going to tag it to pay deposit. The type is a deposit invoice or bill. The service type is your individual tax return. And let's just say you do a $50 deposit for all new clients to make sure that they're serious clients. If you don't have a state that implies sales tax, you're going to unclick that $50. And then you're going to name it tax prep deposit. So we're going to hit save. So that step is completed. Now let's go to our engagement letter. Now let's first make sure that we've already edited out an engagement letter for individual tax prep. So we do have one here. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit this one out. And we're just gonna put and drop these fields in here. Date and time. Dear client first name, and let's go to our signature page. All right, and we're gonna hit save for that. And now let's go back to our automations and we're gonna map our sign engagement letter. We're gonna use template and then, oh, let's go back to our doc editor make sure we check this box. All right, so we go back to our sign engagement letter and we're going to use template. And now we have engagement for individual tax prep and save. Okay, and then the last step says, oh no, then it's questionnaire. So this one is pretty self-explanatory. So questionnaire, you're gonna tag it to maybe completed questionnaire, and then you're just gonna click on questionnaire. The questionnaire is already pre-built here under questionnaires. 
And then the last step, let's say you want them to book a kickoff call with you. So you can speak to this client before you start their tax return. So you can edit this name if you want. We're going to map it to book tax prep kickoff call. You're going to input the URL link to your Calendly, and then you're going to save that. All right, so now we see that that alert message that we started off with in the beginning is now disappeared. So this automation for individual tax returns are now complete for your client. So now let's show you what it looks like on the client side. All right, so let's show you what this looks like on the client side. So when they get to their portal, they're gonna see my onboarding. And I started the process, but this is what it initially looks like. It's going to have individual tax return and then the steps for the onboarding and then three indications onboarding questionnaire upload documents and then it's going to say incomplete click here to finish so when they click it's going to take them through each of the onboarding steps so remember our first step was to sign the proposal so i did i signed this proposal here i put test automation and i signed test automation they can make a deposit. I can't make a deposit because it's really gonna debit me. I should have probably did it for a dollar. But once they go ahead and put in their card number and their card information, they'll hit pay now and it will process on this screen. The next step that they'll complete is sign their engagement letter. So I've already did that. July 4th, test automation, test. And then they signed it, test automation, July 3rd. The next is gonna take them to complete their questionnaire. So they're gonna answer these qualifying questions first, right? So in your questionnaire training, you learn that you can make a qualifying question to see if the client should fill out the subsequent questions after that. So I went ahead and I answered all these questions and then I hit next. And now that took us to the actual questionnaire. And I've already submitted this questionnaire. It's already submitted over to my pro. So I'm gonna go back to onboarding. And then now the last step is to book a tax prep kickoff call. So again, this URL link is here. So when they click on it, it's gonna to toggle directly to that URL link. And then there's a little indication that I've already selected that says visit it URL, that once they click that, it's gonna mark this task completed. So this is what the automation steps look like. It kind of is just a, a workflow to help your client stay on track with the things that they have to do to be successfully onboarded. Now, when they go back to their portal, they still see all of the steps that they need to complete. They can upload their documents here. They can go to my documents and upload them here. They also, when they see my onboarding, they can upload documents here again. And then of course they can chat with you. So if they have any, you know, additional questions or anything like that, they can send a message. So I've already sent the message to my pro that says, hello, I think I completed all the steps, please advise. So we can respond back and let this client know what additional steps they may or may not need to do. That's it for the automation.